Former Prime Minister Bob Hawke has attacked Australia's involvement in the Iraq war on the eve of President Bush's arrival in Sydney. Speaking at the launch of a book by a former senior Australian diplomat, Mr Hawke said... The basic error has been a complete identification of Australia's foreign policy with that of the United States. Uh, taking us into Iraq was supposed to be uh, uh, helping the fight against terrorism. I'm not wise after the event. I wrote an article for the Australian newspaper the day before the invasion took place. I said, if this occurs, the, uh, it, will, it will boost terrorism enormously. With the APEC summit underway, Mr Hawke, who created APEC in 1989, said that he was happy with the way in which his brainchild had strengthened regional ties and assisted in development. There have been uh, very significant uh, developments within the region in economic terms and in social terms. Not all of that because of APEC, but there's no doubt that APEC has played its part in helping the developments taken place. Mr Hawke said the book made clear that the overclose relationship between John Howard and George Bush was the best reason for a change of government. That is the most eloquent argument for the dismissal of this government and its Prime Minister at the forthcoming election. And for the return of Labor, which in office, under Whitlam and under myself, demonstrated its power to retain a strong alliance with the United States while establishing a firmly independent foreign policy base. President Bush arrives in Sydney on Tuesday night.